Hey there, fellows. You remember this thing? Do you remember how it was shaking last time we took it out? Because there's a drive line up front and a ski in the rear. Today I suggest we make the car fly to get rid of that vibration. Excellent. Glad in that direction it got fully airborne. Here we have one of the frame ribs. We've made the first one, it looks good to us. It's based on a template and it resembles the one in the correct blueprints that we have at our disposal. Right, let's make the rest of them. Heat them up, bend them, base them around a single template. We're gonna make nine of these ribs in total. They will be interconnected. And hopefully the assembly is durable enough for the wing to bear the weight of the car, as well as the rear section that we're gonna need to lift. I have a feeling it is going to fly. Yeah, go flying off the road. Check this out, guys. The wing is coming together and we're about to wrap it in plastic. We are trying to save weight here, I mean, why would we... This does have to be stiff, but at the same time light as well. That's why we are using the thinnest available square tubing, thin walled as well to save weight. Hopefully it works well, but let's assemble it and see what the completed wing looks like. We did the best we could to make the wing the right shape, based on the formulas that they use in aviation to engineer a wing. And it does appear to have the correct profile that a wing for an airplane should. So going off of the formulas that we use to make this, the angle should start at around 11 degrees and go no higher than 14. That sort of angle of attack will give you maximum lift. It is currently winter and that means that we're going to be accelerating over the snow. Even packed snow tends to be pretty soft and there's a deep layer of it. And as such, we need as much contact patch as we can get. We're going with 15-inch wheels and a 235 section tire, one that'll work at extremely low pressure. We did have to modify the wheels to get this to work. We took the stock Mazda rims and welded on pieces of 15s of the required size. We're going to be wrapping the wing frame in some PET plastic sheet that's one millimeter thick. We think this is the optimal choice of material, as first of all it's very light, on top of that it's durable and doesn't mind extreme changes in temperature. It should even hold up while in minus 30 degree weather. We are going to rivet it on. Hopefully it won't deform too much, and that we will be able to get up to a certain height off the ground. Okay guys, this is how the wing has turned out. Or is it a spoiler? Eh, call it what you like. No, it's actually a wing made uh, specifically for lifting off. We've done all of the necessary calculations and did the best we could to get it the right shape or the way it's supposed to be. Lengthwise, we're looking at 4.5 meters with this 700 mil. And so if our maths are correct, 
Then at 60 kilometers an hour, it should be able to lift 50 kilos. And with that, it is time to commence the testing. We are ready, let's get airborne. Yeah, let's go. Everything is ready and here we go. Okay, 15, 19. Steering is not great. But no biggie, 30. 40. 50. There we go, come on. I can feel it doing its thing. Look at that. Come on now. Excellent. Already we are seeing results. Already at a speed that's, I mean, around 60 or maybe even just above 57. Anyway, when I'm hopping over the bumps, I'm expecting the rear to take a dip, but it just doesn't. That is just awesome. Yeah, the thing doesn't steer very well, but that was grand. Awesome! Things were very much happening, and that was just the best. That was so much fun. It seems like the moment it starts lifting off properly, the thing becomes uncontrollable. But then this would be our first experiment with something that might actually fly. The car was lifting off the first time, even if it was just a tiny bit. But that was just so awesome. That felt unreal. But we definitely need to do something about the steering. Here's what we've decided to do, guys. We're in a wonderful place as it is. But we've decided to fit the oversized wheels to bring the front end up and to put the wing at a slightly different angle. Though you most likely can't really see it on film, but I can feel with the seat of my pants that the rear end is lifting up. But yeah, let's throw these on and see how the flying is going to go from here. As soon as it starts to lift off, the car is thrown off course, the speed drops and it goes back down. It lifts up by about a centimeter, obviously the vibrations go away, but that's the moment you lose control. Oh yeah, it literally becomes uncontrollable. We need some sort of stabilizer. Yeah, I guess so. I mean, what else can we add to this thing? Yeah, let's keep trying. We want to continue? Of course we do. Yeah, you see his steering inputs? It lifts off by about a centimeter, and that's it, you can't control it. Did you see that?
Flood, in that direction it got fully airborne. He just got airborne. Looks like it is. Stop, 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 stop. Did you see him get airborne? For real. Yep. Who said cars can't fly? Yes, they can, and quite comfortably. The VR speed was slightly higher than we expected, but we did catch air. Our buddies from a local airfield gave us advice on how to make the wing. Props to them for that. As for the result of this experiment, overall this went quite well, I'd say. The car got airborne, that's great. Let us know what you guys think. Perhaps we made some mistakes along the way. We'd love to read your comments. But I don't think this is over, so make sure to sub. And that's it for this video, catch you guys later.